Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 12.1 in our fourth grade Florida Go math books. Lesson 12.1 is called Measurement Benchmarks. So this lesson is um, introducing our new chapter on sizes and measuring. And we're just going to try to get a better picture of what these things mean. So what does it mean when I say it's a foot away or it's a yard away or it's an inch long? So we can do that by comparing those to something in normal life. So we see here that in this picture, customary units of length, that one inch is about the size of the top of your finger to the first bend in your finger. One foot is about how long a license plate is. One yard is about from end to end of a baseball bat. And if somebody says they go a, a mile, then you know that's about 20 minutes that it takes them to do that. And that's walking. Okay, so let's look at this problem. It says, Jake says that the length of his bike is about four yards. Here's his bike, and we want to see if it's about four yards. We want to see if his statement is reasonable or not. Now, we know from this that it says a yard is about uh, how long a baseball bat would be from end to end. So they've lined up the baseball bat here underneath the bike, and there's no way that we could fit four of them. So he, his statement is not reasonable. So right here, you would write is not. By the way, this is page 445 in your big book that you should be filling out. Um, and then it, it says, well then, about how long is his bike? I would say one and maybe a half from here to here. So one and a half baseball bats. So one and a half should go in there. So if you can remember that an inch is about from your top of your finger to the first bend, and a license plate is about a foot long, and a yard is about the size of a baseball bat from end to end, and a mile takes about 20 minutes to walk, then you will be able to sort of picture in your mind what people are talking about when they measure things in inches, feet, yards, and miles. So down here, same sort of thing. They're just kind of showing you what it looks like in real life situations. One cup is eight fluid ounces. A pint here, it shows you a pint. That's about like the size of your milk carton that you get at lunch. A quart, that's kind of like those fancy orange juice bottles that are um, in, the, in the grocery store. Half gallon would be like a regular um, orange juice carton that you would get, and a gallon would be like a gallon of milk. So about how much liquid is in a mug of hot chocolate? The mug looks like about this size, so I would say about one cup. And then these ones, so that was for volume, and then these ones down here are to help you understand weight. So how much something weighs. One ounce is about one of these pencils. A pound is about a loaf of bread, and a ton is about how heavy a car would weigh. So about how much does a grapefruit weigh? A grapefruit's bigger than one pencil, less than a car, maybe about the same as a loaf of bread, so I'd say one pound. All right, go ahead and flip it over to 446, and we've got some more here. So these are now um, metric units. It says the metric system is based on place value. Each unit is 10 times as large as the next smaller unit. So that's easy to calculate because we're just adding a zero each time. And these are some common metric units or metric benchmarks. So if they're talking about one millimeter, it's hard to see in this picture, but that's showing like the end of a pen. The, or the end of a tack, or the very end of a pencil, or a period at the end of a sentence. That's about how big one millimeter would be. One centimeter is across to your finger. A decimeter would be, if you had your hand up, from the thumb over to the edge of your pinky. A meter would be across the door, not from top to bottom, but across the door. And a kilometer would take you about 10 minutes to walk. 
So remember, we had a mile on the other page, and it took us 20 minutes to walk. So a kilometer is about half that, almost about half a mile. So is the length of your classroom greater than or less than one kilometer? So to walk from one side of my classroom to the other, does it take me more than 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes? Hopefully, it would take you less than 10 minutes, unless you're like a snail or something. All right, here's some more. This kind of looks like the medicine dropper that your parents would give you if you were sick when you were a little baby. Um, and this one liter, it's, uh, it's got the picture there of the water bottle. So that will help you to remember a milliliter and a liter. It says about how much medicine is usually in a medicine bottle. So the medicine bottle is here. 120, and that would be milliliters. And last but not least, we have metric units of mass. So a dollar bill weighs about one gram, and a bat is about one kilogram. So then it asks us about how much is the mass of a paper clip? I'd say it's much closer to the dollar than it is the bat, so one gram. All right, so this is um, measurement benchmarks, things that you can picture in your head to help you understand the different things that we measure with. It has been Lesson 12.1. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a message.